So let's get down to the details of how this thing turns. Okay, so when you're on a window, I'm probably going to use about four launching points before I lock. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to launch here. Then I'm going to launch here. Cut down. Then I'm going to launch here. Three. And then four. And then lock. So there's either four or five. So here's, here's what's happening. What you want to do is you want to imagine that this channel is an arrow, okay? And you have five archers here. Your first archer is here. Your second is here. Your third is here. Your fourth and your fifth. Or you could say your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, okay? Each one of these archers, and this is, you could work on your own on this. You could sit on your window. When I finally get to teaching you, you should know this concept down, okay? <clears throat> this first archer is going to need to pull back his bow and launch it up, okay? So he's shooting this arrow tip at the highest point that needs to be squeegeed. And then that arrow is going to even out, okay? Now it's going to fade down. My window's drying here. He shoots the arrow. The arrow flattens out. Now, by the time it gets to the second archer, okay, he has it down and he's shooting it up at a whatever degree angle that is. It's, it's not a 45 degree angle, so it's probably more like a half a 45 would be like 22 or something. So he's at like a 22 uh, degree angle, <clears throat> okay? First archer has cleaned the whole top of this window. This, the arrow has fallen down but before this arrow gets to this archer, it needs to even out to a, a 22 degree angle, okay? So we'll do that again. He shoots it out, he cleans the window. Now it's gonna fall down into this archer. Now this archer needs to pull back and release that arrow, okay? So he's gonna pull back. Now on his pull back, you're still detailing the side here, okay? You're still cutting that edge <clears throat> so he's gonna receive the arrow now he's gonna pull it back and when he pulls it back he's gonna shoot it at a 22 degree angle and he's gonna float up and he's gonna come up here and clean everything up here the arrow is gonna glide down and now it's gonna go to this archer okay so it's gonna come up it's gonna glide down he's gonna catch it He's going to turn it at a 22 degree angle and don't let him shoot that arrow up without pulling the bow back, okay? When he pulls his bow back, he's going to allow this tip of the squeegee to dry and then launch back up and clean everything above. Now remember, each archer is aiming at something, which means that's your eye. So when he shoots that bow up, don't just watch, don't just look down here. Make sure you come up and you grab any other mis, uh, any other spot on the window that you missed, okay? Come up, squeegee. So by now, I'm drawing the window, so let's see where I should be. Okay, so I'm at the second archer, he's here. Now he's gonna shoot up, grab this. Now he's heading down to the third archer, okay? Down. Okay, give it to that archer, and he's got to launch back up. Okay, give it to the fourth archer. And remember, he's still launching. You're not going to lock on this one. But if for some reason he can lock, you might just lock him, okay? And you might skip the last archer. But if he can't lock, if there's a spot on the window that's taller than 12 inches, then you're not going to be able to lock it, okay? So you're going to come around, and he's going to shoot his last arrow. Now that's the last arrow shot, okay? Now it's just going to land here, and then you're just going to slide it, okay? You're just going to slide it and finish it. 